The Chow Garden is hands down the most popular subfeature we have ever seen in a main series Sonic title. These virtual pets have so much to offer it would distract us from saving the world. Although they have made appearances in many Sonic titles, we haven't received a full-fledged nursery in 19 years. So why haven't we seen its return? Let's start with a little background. The Chow made its first appearance in 1998, or 1999 in the US, on the Dreamcast title Sonic Adventure. This was our first introduction to the Chow, and all bases for the Chow were laid out here. You could race them, breed them, and of course care for them. This was done through playing the main story. After completing a mission, you could come back and feed your Chow the animals that you obtained. Of course, this was completely optional, but it added great replay value to levels that you only needed to complete once. The Chow can adopt a feature from the animal they just consumed semi-permanently changing their appearance. Most importantly, their stats would also increase or decrease depending on the animal you fed them, though these are hidden in this installment. Once you got a strong enough Chow, it was off to the races. This was really the only minigame you could use your Chow for, but man was that music catchy. In December of 2001, we received the sequel, Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 expanded on this adding Chow Karate, Dark Hero Chow, and an overhaul to leveling, breeding, and AI. This was really where Chow gained their popularity. Just about everything was made easier and better, making this the ideal game for Chow. Look, here's a petition to get this game on the Switch. It's popular, okay? Chow Karate was another mini-game you could throw your Chow into for necessary emblems, but also another reason to make your Chow stronger than all living things. Mods eventually came out for the PC version of this game, even further expanding what you could do with these cute animals. For those looking for something new, I recommend going that route. Another type of Chow Garden I feel obligated to talk about are the tiny Chow Gardens, appearing in Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, and Sonic Pinball Party. These are amusing at most, offering very little to do other than small amounts of leveling and lackluster minigames. You couldn't collect the animals from the story and bring them back to feed your chow. You had to use the fruit that you bought with rings, and those chow could only eat so much. They made it possible to connect it with the GameCube versions of the Sonic Adventure series, but it was by no means a substitute for an actual garden. Chow and Chow Gardens have appeared in other Sonic titles, usually as side characters, but never to the degree that we saw with the Adventure series. Technically, there are other Tiny Chow Gardens, like in 2004's Sega Superstars, but it didn't offer anything that the previous Tiny Chow Gardens had besides a black market and its three-dimensional Chow. Which honestly looked pretty scary. Chow were usually used as background assets or power-up items. Sometimes they're even playable, but that's not what we want. They had some non-Sonic title representation, such as Super Smash Bros., and recently in Ultimate, they even showed off the Hero Chow. But their latest appearance in-game was in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. They also loosely appear outside of video games, such as merch. Or this animation from December 2019, released by the official Sonic channel, using sound effects and scenery from Sonic Adventure 2. I, I know, it's like they're taunting us. Well, at the very end of 2003, we saw the release of the next big Sonic game after Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes. As many know, no Chow Garden. Directly after this game's released, in an interview with the director of the Sonic team, he was asked why Chow didn't make a return. He responded with, The Chow raising would have broken up the action too much. In Sonic Adventure, we created the Chow Garden so that players would be forced to go out and explore the sections. The Sonic Adventure series has not ended though, so theoretically the Chow Garden could return sometime. This was 2004. However, in 2018, we had a fan up front ask why they haven't returned. His response was, The Yuzu-san really uh, likes Chow. Obviously, it was his uh, idea way back in the day uh, to put it in the game. Uh, and he really wants to make sure, you know, Chow Garden, we're not just like putting it into whatever game just to put it in, uh, but really to make sure we have a concept that's going to be, that's going to work for the Chow Garden. Uh, so we don't, we don't have any like uh, date that we can tell you right now, or title we can tell you right now that it's going to be in. But, uh, you know, sometime in the future, we'd really like to, you know, put Chow Garden back into the game. A promising response, but I was hoping for more 14 years later. Okay, so maybe they're just not aware that people want it. Except that during the Sonic the Hedgehog 25th anniversary panel where Sega's social media manager said this. So, I really need to get your reaction for this because this is going to maybe help settle a debate that is happening right now. You know, I'm just trying to convince people of certain things. Um, these lovable balls of fluff appear in the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure. You can raise them, you can race them, you can even put them on your VMU, which was an amazing memory card at the time. And they're the coolest, we should totally bring them back, right? Would you guys like that? 
I should specify, there are not currently any plans to bring them back, but that cheer really helps me a lot, so thank you for that. <laughs> And then there's this tweet from two years after by the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter asking what our favorite feature was from past Chow games. Chow Gardens won by a landslide. The Sonic team has been teasing that another installment for the Sonic Adventure series could be a thing in the future. But the future is now. It's time for another Chow Garden. So with this constant representation, why haven't we seen a new Chow Garden? Well, one reason could be it's not marketable. In an interview circa 2007, the creator of Chow said, Chow have that part that floats over their heads and gradation on their bodies, so their designs aren't well suited for becoming products. It caused trouble for those involved in making goods like stuffed animals and for those that worked on the cartoon. And although plushies and toys do exist of Chow, they look different than how they appear in-game. Some are better than others. <laughs> it's much easier to create a Sonic or Knuckles in this form, and it doesn't take away from their original look. Another more obvious reason is that they're waiting for Sonic Adventure 3. It'd be cool to see this release in 2021, 20 years after Sonic Adventure 2 came out. Both no word yet, it is unlikely. Releasing a Chow Garden with any other title might be considered half-hearted by the director. And honestly, I think that's a fair point. Playing a game like Sonic Colors with a Chow Garden would not feel the same. We don't want a mode we've been waiting for since 2003 to come back in a lackluster title that we feel forced to play because our Chow are hungry for peacocks and gorillas. But for real, Sonic 06 with a Chow Garden? Eh, pass. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hitting the like button helps a ton. I'm new to this, so, you know. If you have any thoughts or information, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. If you want to see more or just want to chat, you can check me out on my Twitch channel. Other than that, hope you guys have a good one.